Hey baby babes, welcome back to my channel. I am Maria, aka Agave Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have a Beauty Box 5 unboxing. I have not done an unboxing in quite a while. Um, a few months at least. I don't know about you, but I've just kind of been like over them. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know. It just seems like a lot more work and effort than it's worth because I don't know how much people are really interested in them and also I've just kind of been like eh with them as well um, you know that I like to do like you know reviews of the products so that the videos are more than just unboxings they're just helpful for you in general on if the products really work or not if they're good if it's really worth the money of a subscription box um, which most of them are I mean, you pretty much do get a good um, deal you know for what you pay for the box or bag or whatever subscription service you get it's usually worth a, you know more so um, what you pay for the box and stuff like that so it is a good deal but anyways I just have not also really had the time to do the reviews or demos or anything like that and so I kind of just feel like I'm cheating you guys with if I do an unboxing um, without having a review and more info for you so I just haven't been doing them lately but I decided since it's been a while and because I do receive a beauty box for free to be able to share with you guys that I would do this unboxing um, and just give it a go and see how I feel if I want to continue them or not and also I'd love for you guys to let me know if you like the unboxings if you don't mind if I don't have reviews for them or um, you know what not so I'd love your feedback on it but anyways it seemed like a pretty interesting box this month so I thought I'd go ahead and do an unboxing of this one so this is the March Beauty Box 5 and the theme is Hustle. So um, we got quite a few uh, full size products in this and I love that this has a card that has all the information about the products and then it even has a cute little heart next to the items that are full size which is really nice and helpful. Um, the first item I'm seeing here is the Eslor Introductory Collection 2nd Edition. So that's actually kind of helpful that it said 2nd Edition because I believe we have gotten these same, at least the same brand um, set. And so I'm not sure, it looks almost exactly the same, so I'm not sure exactly how it's different. Um, but it says it retails for $28, uh, $38, $38, $85, so probably depending on the things. It says your skin is about to seriously thank you. This lavish line is completely paraben free and gentle, pampers and hydrates your face without stripping away natural oils. And so like last time you do get four little um, foil packets and um, two are blue, two are beige colored. I do believe that they are different products though. So we have a cleanser, a botanical peeling gel, um, a lifting mask, um, and then firming collagen day cream. Okay, so these do sound a little bit different than the last things I remember trying. So um, that is interesting because I do recall that I I believe I liked this brand last time I tried it. Um, so that is kind of cool. At first when I saw this, I was like, really this again? But it is different, so I guess that's good. Um, the next thing is Elite Therapeutics Rosemary Eucalyptus Body Cream. It retails for $19 for 8 ounces. This is a sample size. So it says, smooth on natural goodness for your whole body. Never greasy. This luxe lotion replenishes your skin with an organic blend of oils and healing aloe vera. Plus, it smells divine, too. So let me smell it and see. I'm pretty picky about scents, so... I wouldn't say it smelled divine, <laughs> but it does smell like eucalyptus. <laughs> so, okay, the next thing is a full size mascara from, I just like whack myself in the face, um, from Nana Coco. Uh, this is Scandalous by Nana Coco, thickening mascara. Uh, it retails for $4.99. This is a full size, like I said. It says, embrace a va va voom volume with this new favorite. This flexible silicone ball brush gets up close and personal to majorly magnify your lashes. So, and it has a little asterisk that says assorted colors. Um, did I get a weird color? Oh, I got dark brown. Okay. Um, I'm curious about what the wand looks like based on that description. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. So, let me zoom you guys in. So, here is what it looks like. Um, it looks kind of similar to, like, the, um, CoverGirl mascaras. The, the ones that are actually in a similar big fat bottle like this. 
I think they're like green and then orange and maybe pink or whatever bottles and they're kind of different but they're similar I don't know anyways that's what that looks like so I don't typically wear brown mascara but um, I'm tempted to give this a try obviously because I really actually like flexi tip um, wands like this and I like that it has a little bit of a curve to it so I mean definitely give it a try and see how well it works I could at least update you guys later um then we got why does that sound so weird um a line and seal twist mechanical eyeliner I've got like <laughs> there's worms stuck to it okay um this is styly style and I actually have tried something like this before from this brand before and I swap my swap from Adriana um she sent me a styly style <laughs> sounds so funny saying mascara and it was a purple mascara so um that's interesting so this is a line and seal twist mechanical eyeliner and this is full size it retails for $4.99 it says these creamy pigmented pencils go on super smooth to give a perfect line or wing and their fun twist up design means you never need to use a sharpener which I like I like not having to use a sharpener especially for um eyeliner um but I got a I believe this is purple yeah it says orchid it's but the packaging is purple, so um, I kind of don't think I want to open this. I might give this away, um, not quite sure, because I I love purple liner, but I think I already have two of them, so I really don't need three purple liners, so I'm going to leave that sealed up in case I want to give it away to somebody. And then the last thing we got is a lip gloss. This looks really pretty, um, though it does look kind of metallic-y, and I'm not super fan of metallic-y um, stuff on my lips. This is a Laugh Out Loud Nana Coco Lip Gloss. This is a full size and it retails for $3.99. It says, warning, the gloss addiction starts now. Pretty pigments, seriously sweet smell factor, and a non-sticky formula all make this our latest lip product crush. Um, okay, so I got the shade The Lift. I like the shade. It's kind of like a bright corally pink color, which is right up my alley. I love those kinds of shades. Let's see how it smells. Okay. It has a fruity scent. It kind of reminds me of like a wine cooler scent. I don't know. <laughs> um, let me just put this on and I'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I just took off my other lipstick that I was wearing and applied this. And it's, um, it's not like really um, opaque. It is a little bit sheer and it's not as metallic-y looking as I thought it would be. Um, it does have some shimmer, but it's not, like, awful. It's a little bit sticky, but not crazy sticky, so... I don't know. I like it, I guess. Um, what do you guys think? How does it look on me? <laughs> so, um, anyways, that was the last thing we got in the box. Um, if you don't already know, Beauty Box 5 is $12 a month, unless it has changed. I don't know, but um, $12 a month, and I will put more information in the description box below for you if you are interested. Um, I think it was a pretty good box. I mean, all this stuff for just $12 is a pretty decent deal. Um, to be honest, I've actually really, really, really been loving uh, BoxyCharm. That's a new one that I recently subscribed to. Um, and it is $21 a month, but I think it's totally worth it just because um, the products are um, all pretty much all the time full-size products. And you get brands like that are high-end, like Tarte. We got Tarte in a... Um, in like the last two boxes and I've just never been disappointed and it's just a lot more exciting and definitely like most of the time you're getting anywhere from 50 to 100 or more dollars worth of products in the box for only $21 so it's totally worth it um but anyways that is that for my beauty box 5 unboxing I hope you guys enjoyed definitely let me know what you guys think of the unboxings if you prefer just you're good without them um, if you prefer me to do them if I'm going to do them to do a review with them of the products um, demos and whatnot or if you just don't mind if I completely just skip them <laughs> and fill my channel with other things so let me know I'd love to have your feedback thank you so much for watching much love and hugs to you bye beauty babes